Hi, I'm Dr. Rod Shaw of Math Plus Academy, where we offer online enrichment classes for kids age 5 to 15, and I'm here with a math treat. Today, I welcome you to the beautiful, sleepy little town of Squaresville. And in Squaresville, you live over here at point A, and you wish to get to point B. Maybe that's the grocery store or something, and you want to get there, and you must follow the roads in Squaresville. So whether you drive or ride your bike or walk, I don't care, but you need to follow the black lines on your way to Squaresville because those are our streets. And we have one rule in Squaresville, which is once you take off from point A, you can only go to the right and you can only go up. You would never go back to the left or back down. That would be counterproductive in Squaresville. So let me give you an example. If I start at A and I want to get to B, I might choose to go like this. I'll just go right along this road all the way to the end, and then up all the way to B. Simple. That is one way to get from A to B. Another way is to take the other edge of town. You could go around this side of town. Up over here, right over there, and off you get to point B just like that. Now we have two ways to get from A to B. And of course, you could take some of the interior roads as well. So let me try one of those. Maybe I start at A and I go right and then up and then 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 right and then up. Whew, that was a lot, but I still get to point B. And there you go. So now we have three ways that you can get from A to B. So you're probably guessing what the question is for this math treat. It is how many ways are there to get from point A to point B in Squaresville, if you follow the roads, only going right and only going up. Okay, so before you attack this problem, I recommend doing a couple of things. Number one, I would write down a guess. What does your intuition tell you about this? Do you think it's one way or 10 ways or 50 ways or 100 ways or 1,000 ways? Write that down just for fun, and then you can go back and check to see if you were close. Number two is, as you try and tackle this, it's probably going to get a little bit confusing to keep track of all the different ways that you got from A to B. So you might want to come up with some sort of system to keep track. You could maybe make multiple copies of this so you could be organized in how you do it because if you start overlapping all your paths, it gets really confusing. Or you might try some new notation. For example, I could say this is right, 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 up, 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 up. So I could say there were 10 steps, five rights followed by five ups would get me from A to B. Whereas this one in the middle is right, up, right, up, right, up, right, up, and so on. So that might be a way you keep track and keep organized with your thinking. So I want you to give that a whirl. Uh, go as far as you can, count as many as you can, look for some patterns and structure, and see if you can figure out how many ways there are to get from A to B in Squaresville. Until next time, have fun playing with math.